The final component of the quadruple bottom line approach, sensory value, measures the effect Millennium Park has on the five human senses. But how do you measure a smell or apply value to a sound? Sensory value approach to research is, is by nature both um, quantitative and qualitative. Uh, quantitative uh, meaning we can measure number of music events held, uh, visitors to the park for these music events, uh, but at the same time sensory value is also qualitative, it's, it's a matter of opinion. Uh, people value these iconic uh, elements of architecture. 70% of sensory value is visual, so the world-class art and architecture uh, have a huge impact on how the park is perceived and enjoyed by the general public. Within the park there are four iconic elements, all created by world-class architects and artists. You have Gary's uh, BP Bridge and J. Pritzker Pavilion, and then you also have the Crown Fountain by Plinza, and then Cloud Gate by Kapoor. The value of Millennium Park would be diminished had the leaders and the visionaries for this project not brought these world-class artists and architects to the site. The story that we told to the community that stirred their blood was that we wanted to define Chicago to the world, and to do that we would bring the world's best artists and architects and designers to Chicago and define the city. And that set a tone, if you will, for the park because when you go around to tell your story everybody knows that uh, that you're seeking something at a higher level. The iconic visual elements of Millennium Park clearly provide visitors with sensory value but it's not only a feast for the eyes. There's also uh, sound all the concerts and the sights and sounds of all the public activities generate a very positive environment from the sound perspective. The Pritzker Pavilion houses the only uh, sound system of its type in North America, so obviously a premium was placed on sound quality. It was designed to um, create the effect of being in an orchestra hall where you actually hear sound uh, with reflection. Its trellis system and speakers located on the trellis provide uh, the people in the back just as good of a sound experience as the people that might be up close in the permanent seating. From a smell perspective, the olfactory nerves are influenced in a positive way in Millennium Park. Adjacent to the park, there are 18 restaurants. Uh, also, there are two restaurants in the park and three, sometimes four, food vendors. And all of these restaurant spaces add to the sense of smell you get from walking through the park or walking around the park. We do not want art that people couldn't touch. So the idea of uh, interacting with the art, even though uh, in some cases it costs us money because we have to clean the art more frequently, uh, to be able to get in the art, whether you're handicapped or, or a kid, um, all that was important. The artists were selected on that basis. Whether it's um, Kapoor's cloud gate that you can touch, the water running from Crown Fountain that you can hear, the sound coming from the pavilion. And these elements weren't done um, by accident. They were carefully planned and designed for by these world-class artists and architects. We did our best to report our findings in regards to sensory value, but if you haven't been, it's, it's definitely a place you need to visit and experience uh, for yourself. Quadruple net value is the holistic value that real estate generates in an urban environment. There's a great deal of interest in understanding the value of good design. And of course Millennium Park is a, uh, a great research example of uh, how to measure the value of urban design. Millennium Park has evolved from a wonderful civic idea into being the soul of the city. The park's evolution continues on a grand scale which generates new experiences and repeat visitation beyond original estimates. The phenomenology of the park and its holistic value continue to increase beyond predictions. Millennium Park is a reflection of Chicago's energy and vision for the future.